now that our proxy files from our Cinema DNG footage have finished exporting from DaVinci Resolve 9, the next step is to import that footage into Adobe Premiere Pro CC to create our multicam clip. So I'm in a new project file here. And the first thing I'm gonna do is just import the proxies. So to do that, I'm just gonna right click and select import. And then I'm going to navigate to my proxy files. And here they are, I'm just gonna select those and open them. And now my files are imported into Premiere Pro CC. And my next step is simply to set up the multicam clip. And to do that, the first thing that I need to do is to pull the selects or the best angles that I want to use in my multicam clip. And to do that, I can sort of scrub through the clips or I can sort of double click on them and bring them up into my source monitor and view them that way. Um, but once I've selected the best clips, I'm going to use those to create my multicam sequence. So what I like to do is actually add a new bin and I'm going to call this selects. And I like to sort of put my best takes into this bin. And that's just for me an easier way to organize everything. So I'm going to go through here and pull my best clips. And obviously to save time, I already had the clips selected that I think are the selects for this project. And the next thing I want to do is add in the master audio track. So when these clips were recorded, there's a scratch track being played in the background that the singer is lip syncing along to. But ultimately what I want to have happen is to have the high quality audio file be the soundtrack for the music video of course. So I'm going to add that to this bin as well. And I'm going to do that simply again by right clicking and adding it into the bin with the import command. I'm just going to select my audio file and hit open. And that's going to import that file into my bin. Now the next thing I need to do is simply make the multicam clip. And the great thing about working with Adobe Premiere Pro CC is that it allows me to include an audio file in my multicam. It also is going to allow me to sync my clips and my angles using audio. And this is a really powerful tool for what I'm going to do here because all of these individual angles were were taken separately from the same camera in different takes. So there's no real way to sync them using the slate or by time code. The only reference point I have is the audio. So to show you how easy this is to do, I'm just going to select all of my clips and then I'm just going to right click and do create multicam source sequence. And when this pops up, this is where I'm going to create my multicam clip. And up here, I can change the name, what the clip's going to be called. And I'm going to call this Music Video Multicam. And down here in the synchronized points, you can see these are all the different options I have for synchronizing my multicam. So in point, out point, time code. Uh, clip marker if you want to do that and then also what I'm going to do audio and for me audio is generally the most useful but do be aware that there are other ways to synchronize your clips if audio does not work for you in your particular project. Down here there's a checkbox that says move source clips to processed clips bin. I always have this unchecked. Essentially what this does is make another folder called processed clips and puts all of the clips into that bin. Since I've already made my bin initially I've essentially done this preemptively, so I don't need to do this again. And for audio, I'm going to leave it as camera one for the sequence setting. And audio channels preset automatic generally works fine. And then I'm just going to say OK. And now Premiere Pro is going to process my clips and basically analyze the audio waveform to figure out the synchronization of the clips. And once that's finished processing, it adds this multicam clip or sequence into my bin. And if I double click on that, it will open up in my source. And I can see that it has combined all of the clips that I had in my bin that I had that I selected. 
And if we play that through, we can see that it has in fact synchronized the clips. Someday. Now, one thing about synchronizing with audio is that it is not perfect in all instances. And in this example, I know that one of the clips actually did not properly synchronize, which is why I chose the clips that I did, just to show you how we can resolve this in the case that your audio is not properly synchronized with the video. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to right click here and do new sequence from clip. And essentially what that is going to do is create a sequence that matches the media settings. So if I do that, it's gonna create this music video multicam sequence. A note about working with multicam sequences is that in a way they function as nested sequences. So sometimes if you're working on a sequence and you have this checkbox over here unselected and you try to just drag and drop your multicam sequence onto your timeline, you'll see that it actually brings it in and imports it as all of the multiple tracks. And so you don't want to have that happen. This would sort of defeat the point of your multicam. So I'm just going to undo that. And just remember that if you are trying to pull a multicam sequence into your timeline and you're getting a bunch of different video and audio tracks, it's because you most likely have this checkbox deselected. And I'm going to close this bin so we can get a better view of what's going on here. And if I scrub through this, we can see that the multicam is playing, but only as my first video angle. And so as I mentioned, as I was watching this up here in my source monitor, I noticed that one of the angles was out of sync and it's this angle down here of the wide shot. So in order to correct for that, what I need to do is open up my multicam. I'm just going to press control and double click and that's going to open up my music video multicam as its own timeline. Now, the next thing I'm going to do to locate this clip is I'm simply going to go to a point here in my timeline and then I'm going to deselect these tracks until I can find the track that I need to fix. And so if I turn these off in layers, actually, I think, yep, the second one here is the one I actually need to fix. So as I play this, We'll see that the audio is playing, the singer is actually singing right now, but in this shot, since it's out of sync, she's just standing there. So what I'm gonna do to fix this is I'm just gonna adjust the sync manually on my timeline. And to do that, I'm gonna deselect all of my tracks, and then I'm gonna select the track that I need to edit. And just so you can see this a little better, I'm gonna increase the size of my timeline here. And when I select this track, we'll see down here at the bottom, I know that this is the audio that connects to the video that I need to adjust. And if I go over my timeline here and I use the scroll wheel on my mouse, I can actually expand the timeline and see the waveform. So to fix this, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to unmute these two tracks and that will allow me to hear where they're out of sync. And from listening to this originally, it seems like the singing starts too early. And so that tells me that this track is not in the right place. So I'm just gonna adjust this a little bit on the timeline. And I'm just gonna slide this back. So I've jumped ahead so that you don't have to watch me sort of nudge these timelines into place. But where I have it now is pretty good. So I'm just gonna zoom out here. And we can see that that is pretty well in sync now. So the next thing I need to do, I'm just gonna extend this out since there's some extra footage there and I can use that in my edit possibly. And I also need to turn this track back on. And you'll see if you forget to turn the track back on, it will sort of disappear out of your multicam. So just remember to turn your clip back on if you have to put something back into sync. And now I can close this and if I play this back now, we should be able to see that all of these clips are in fact in sync. So now I'm ready to begin my edit. And since I've created this multicam clip, what I'm gonna do is go to my program monitor 
and I'm going to select multi-camera. And when I select that, it's gonna bring up this multi-camera editor. And if I go back here, you'll see that's brought up my different angles and also a viewer for what is currently live. And I'm just gonna readjust my workspace again so you can see what's going on here a little bit better. And these are my six angles that I have to choose from along with what I am currently selected on in my timeline. So all I need to do is essentially go back to where the song starts and I can just trim off the beginning of my multicam clip here. And basically multicam is as simple as selecting the angle that I want as it's playing back in real time. And as I'm doing that, Adobe Premiere Pro CC will put the edit in place as I'm making the selection in real time. So let's just do a little bit of that so you can see how this works. So I'm just going to start playing my footage. And you'll see when I hit the space bar to stop the playback of the clip, it's added in these edit decisions each time that I switched my angle. And if I zoom in here a little bit, you can see these different edit decisions here that have been made. And then I can just adjust these as if they were normal edits. If for example, I wanna change a shot, so I sort of selected the wrong shot, it's as easy as scrubbing over that shot and just selecting another clip and it changes that clip that easily. And if I need to make any adjustments to my edit decisions, I can use the tools as normal to just adjust those edit points. And so what I'm gonna do now is just go through and finish the edit of my music video. Now that I have completed my edit, the next thing that I need to do is send my sequence back into Resolve. And I'm going to do that by exporting my sequence as an XML. But one thing about working with a multicam clip is that if I try to export this sequence as an XML, it will not import properly into DaVinci Resolve 9 because XML does not support multi-clip. So what I'm gonna to do to get around that is simply select all of my clips and then I'm going to right click and I'm just gonna go up to multi-camera and I'm gonna select flatten. And what that's gonna do is it's going to convert the multi-cam clip into each of the individual video files that was making up each of those shots. And so by doing that, what it's gonna allow me to do is import the sequence back into DaVinci Resolve as an XML. So once that's been done, all I need to do is go up to File, Export, and I'm gonna export as a Final Cut Pro XML. And then I just need to navigate to my folder and save that XML. And once I've created that XML file, I can then go back into DaVinci Resolve 9 to complete my color grading and finish up my edit. And that's what I'm gonna show you how to do in the next tutorial.